What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Art the Clown from the Terrifier. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. We're gonna start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page, starting from the very top. And this is gonna split the left and right side of the face. Now along the top, let's draw another line going across from left to right. Now we're gonna use these two lines to help us create a circle along the top of our page. So from the center, let's step up towards the top. It's gonna to mark off the top of our circle. Now you wanna measure that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that across this horizontal line. So taking that distance from the center towards the left and then the right. Now we're gonna connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We're just gonna get the right size and placement along the top center of our page. We can go back and smooth this out. Let's add another line coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left, come all the way down towards the bottom. Let's add another line going across the bottom of our circle. So we'll start with the left and then extend that out towards the right. Now we want to create a gap in between the eyes. So from that center line, let's step over towards the left a straight line going up towards the center of our circle. Extend it all the way down towards the bottom. Now we want to take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Going up and then down. Now I'm going to start blocking out the facial features. Let's start with the eyes. Starting from this point, angle the eye going up and then out towards the side. Now along the top of the brow, we're going to step up, angle this down and then out towards the side. Curve the eye coming down and then in. On the inside of the eyes, let's draw the brow coming in and then up. Now we're gonna add a thick trim around the eyes. Let's go out with a straight line, come down underneath the eye and just pull that in. Let's add a curve along the top of the eyes for the eyebrow, starting on the left, go up, and then bend that down like a half oval. Now from the center, we're gonna step all the way down, it's gonna mark off the bottom edge of the nose. So right about here, go all the way across from left to right. In the center, right in between these two lines, draw a small circle for the tip of the nose. From the side of the nose, curve the nostrils, going up and then out. Angles up and then in. Now I want to tuck the mouth in underneath the tip of the nose. So from the side of that circle, bend the mouth going out and then up. Coming down and in with a straight angled line towards the bottom of the mouth. Curve the mouth coming down and then back up. Now from the bottom of the mouth, let's step all the way down towards the chin and draw a straight line going across. Let's go back up to the top of the nostril, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the corners of the mouth. And we're gonna add that trim around the mouth, starting on the side of the nostril, bend this out and then up. Go around the corners of the mouth. Now you wanna trace the mouth along the bottom. So we come down and in and go straight across. Now let's angle the head coming in towards the jaw. Starting from that eye line, angle this down and then in. To that line along the bottom. Now from here, angle the jaw coming down and in towards the chin with a straight line. Now we're gonna lean the head forward so the neck and shoulders will sit in behind. So start from the side of the jaw, curve this around and then in. Do the same thing on the right. And then from the top, slope the shoulders, coming down and then out. Now you want to bump out the side of the head to leave room for the ears. Let's start from the top, bend this out, come down and then back in. Let's place the hat on top of the head on the right. So starting from the center, bend this down and then across. 
is round out the top, come around the outside of our circle, and back in. Now we want to draw that same shape but smaller along the top. Come across, and then up along the back. From the side of that inner oval, draw the side of the hat going up and then out. So we're getting narrow as we come up toward the top of the hat. Close off the top with a curve. Now that we complete our rough sketch, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have a clean rough sketch, we can use this as a guide to help us refine the shape and add some more details. Now I'm going to start with the top edge of the brow. So we start on the left, and this out, and then up. I'm just working our way across the inside of the brow. Just going to add a little fold and wrinkle along the inside in between. Also around the bottom of the eyes. Now from here, we're just going to work our way around the eyes, around the eyelid. Darken up that trim around the eyes. And I'm gonna add those points along the top, going up and then back down. Also across the bottom. I'm gonna add some shape to the eyebrows, bringing this in. And then we'll just thicken that up. Now we're going to move down and just start detailing out the nose. So starting with the tip and working our way up along the outside of the nostrils. So that black dot in the center of the nose. Now I'm just going to work our way around the mouth. And I'm going to lightly sketch in the teeth, starting by separating the top and bottom. And then we'll go up towards the gum line and bring out each tooth. Rounding out the top and then coming down. I'm going to do the same thing across the bottom with smaller teeth. And we want to expose the gum line along the bottom. And then we can go back and just darken that up. Now you want to trace the inside edge of the mask, going around the face, and then come down towards the jaw. Just adding the cheekbones, bending this in, and then back down. And we'll go in towards the jaw, and then down towards the chin. I'm just going to add a little bump in the center of the chin. Just going to detail out that strap across the neck. So we're going to give it some thickness. Just tracing out the inside. And we'll just darken that up. Just adding a rough shade to the inside. Now I'm going to add some ruffles across the base of the head. So we're just going to start with the left side. And just add these curves going all the way around. 
and back up towards the right. We'll add some folds and wrinkles along the base for that strap. Now once we complete our sketch, I'm going to go in and start adding some various tones. Let's start by darkening up the areas around the eyes. And we're also going to darken up those little points along the top and bottom. Just gonna do the same thing around the mouth, just darken up that trim. Now with the hat, we're going to darken up the center and just fade that out towards the highlight along the top and bottom. Add a medium shade to the gum line going around the teeth. shade to the teeth. Now that we've defined the dark areas of our drawing, we're going to go in and add some shadows. Let's position the light from the top left side of our page going across our character in an angle so the highlights will sit along the top left with the shadows along the bottom right. Now I'm going to start by adding some darkness just underneath the brow and then fading that out. Also going in between and then along the side of the nose. I'm just going to lean that shadow a little bit heavier on the right side because again the light's coming down at an angle and the nose is going to cast a shadow on the right side. Just darken up the cheekbones and then blend that down. That's going to cast a shadow across the top of the head. So just going to angle this down and across. And make it a little bit darker along the top. Now we're leaning the shadow across the collar and the head coming down. Go back in and add some fine details around the face. Now this is completely optional. I'm just going to add the edge of the iris just underneath the brow. Just lightly adding this in. And I don't want to go too dark with this. I'm just lightly shading the top adding a little highlight and glare along the bottom.
And once we finish adding some more details, we'll continue to add some more shadows and contrast and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Art the Clown from the Terrifier. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.